We've been friends for over 10 years. Okay. And he's developed feelings for this. Okay. The, the thing is, if you wanted him out months ago, you should have gotten a kick out order from the judge. What you want, what you want. I was dispatched to a call of a, uh, keep the peace. The uh, reporting party said that he was having an argument with his boyfriend and he wanted him out of the house. And he also claimed that the boyfriend had a firearm and that he was concerned for, for his safety. In July, he had no place to go because his place was at that point um, taken over by the owner to sell. Okay. So he moved back in. And I said, that's cool, but you need to be out you know, at the end of August. Okay. And it kept getting pushed, pushed, pushed. So I'm at the point where I can't take it. Does he pay rent here? No. No? So he's here to, as a gratuitous guest? Yes. When people call and they talk to dispatch, it comes out one way, but when we get there, it's a complete different scene. They were both very calm, very cooperative. I thought it was going to be a full-on argument between both of them. I think he took it to heart when I told him I should have him committed because he's acting like an idiot and a fool and that kind of stuff this evening. And okay. That's what he just now told me. This is the first time. He's been drinking since, you know, probably a year. Okay. Well, there's no law against being, you know, a jerk. Okay. Well, so, do you pay rent here? I do. You do? Do you have receipts to show it? I do not. By the time we were done, I really didn't need to help them so much. They were able to resolve it on their own. And uh, I think they just needed someone else, a third party, just to hear them out as well. So, I'm glad that I was there, but at the same time, they were able to resolve it on their own.